Hello everyone and welcome to the Used Car Awards. This is the online edition and this is a very exciting award for me to give away because it's always nice when I give awards to friends in the motor industry and this one has become a real friend of mine over the years and uh, it's an absolute delight to be able to give this award. It is the Dealers Dealer Award. So all the dealers vote for who they think is their favourite dealer in the motor industry. This one is sponsored by Dealer Auction and I'm delighted to say the winner is none other than Mr. Dash Gupta, the CEO of Marshall's Motor Group and a good friend of ours and mine. Dash, my buddy, congratulations. Thank you, Mike. I really appreciate that. What, what a great introduction. Thank you. Well, I mean, what do you think then, Dash? When you hear, I mean, I've known you for years, um, but when you hear you've got the dealer network saying, you know, and we're asking them, who do you think is the the best dealer in the industry, who's the nicest dealer, in, and they're all saying Dash Gupta. What does that mean to you? Well, I, I'm, I'm wondering whether the people who voted are people in our network in, in at Marshall, because uh, to be honest, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really quite surprised. Um, uh, I mean, I've got to say, look, it's it's a huge honour. Um, you know, I think you know, winning something like this really means a huge amount to me personally. Um, I think. For me, it's a reflection really of my organization, though. I think, um, you know, we've got a fantastic business at Marshall, but it's only fantastic because we've got amazing people that are. I'm so proud of our people, our culture. Uh, you know, this year will be the seventh year or 2020 will be the seventh year in a row we've been in the UK's best workplaces, 11th year in a row being great place to work status. Uh, and that says a lot about our culture. Uh, we've got an amazing uh, leadership team. Uh, I work with an amazing uh, senior and operational board team there honestly fantastic and I, I do genuinely believe they're the best in the business um I've got a really strong board around me who are incredibly supportive and I've got an amazing chairman who's incredibly supportive but is uh, as much of a workaholic as me so we're often having late night beers so I'm really really lucky to have a, a great set of people around me uh, but I think also for me uh, the dealers dealer award really is something that I think is something a little bit special because it is voted for by uh colleagues in the industry and I want to take this opportunity to thank them uh, I want to thank car dealer in particular as well, because I think particularly through lockdown, a lot of people, and I include myself in this, found particularly the uh, interview sessions that James was doing on a pretty much daily basis as a bit of a, a bit of an escape from, you know, dealing with the virus. So a big thank you to James and the car dealer, Tim. And uh, for me to have the industry um, vote me for this is, is a huge privilege and a huge, and I want to say a big thank you to all of the people who have uh, voted for me. So thank you to them as well. Oh, Dash, that's wonderful. It's fair to say, I think, Dash, if me and you could create an award for best magazine supporting the car industry, it would definitely go to Car Dealer Magazine and James would win that accolade, uh, most definitely. And when you just spoke about, you know, you and the team and you've got, uh, you know, a huge group underneath you and it's clearly a, a great environment to work in. All of those things that you mentioned were below where you sit at the, you know, almost at the top of the pyramid. Um, for you, how do you keep that huge team motivated, especially during these trying times and the pandemic? I think there's quite quite a few things we've done. I think all of us uh, as an industry become quite agile um, through this period. And, you know, uh, you, you think, you know, we would normally be doing this at probably uh, the brewery, wouldn't we, in, uh, in London. So it, uh, I think we're all desperately missing those times and roll on those jabs, you know. And I think that'd be fantastic to, to get back into London because, boy, are we going to have some big nights uh, in, in the coming year. <laughs> Uh, so, but I think, you know, we have been able to interact like this. It's not the same as, you know, giving you a big hug, Mike, you know, as we probably would do. But, uh, you know, let's just think there is a finishing line there. So I think virtual technology has been really powerful for our business. Uh, one of the things that we've done in our organization, I started doing videos uh, back in November. In fact, last night I recorded my 47th video uh, for my organization. Uh, and they're typically, you know, five to eight minutes long, just talking about what's going on, what's going on in the business, what my view of, things are uh last night was a bit of a longer one because uh, there's obviously a lot going on in terms of the virus etc uh, and i think that's kept our people engaged uh, we have a very open and transparent culture anyone and genuinely speak to anyone in my business they can email me phone me personally um you know it does make me laugh and sometimes email me saying dear mr Gupta, well, I'm, what have i done wrong you know uh we we're not, we you know we we are a very um transparent company uh, i think that makes a big difference and we have a lot of fun i mean i think we're at work fun is so important we genuinely genuinely have a lot of fun uh, it is quite funny on a, every tuesday we have our executive committee meetings which are about uh, you know three or four hours long and i'm convinced they could be an hour 
less because we just keep having so much uh, banter at each other's expense so but i think that's that's quite important and i think if i look at some of the things we do we try and do things a little bit special so for example if i just give you one example there at christmas uh because our colleagues couldn't have a christmas party we uh wrote to santa and we said santa we've got a budget of 35 pounds you know we would like to do uh, something because we wanted to keep it under the tax limit, otherwise uh, HMRC would make it taxable. Uh, but what can you do for us? And Santa organised his elves to go to Cadbury's and deliver hampers to all of our colleagues, all 4,000 of them, and uh, it was fantastic. So I think little things make a big difference. And, you know, I, I'm a big believer in please and thank you goes a long way as well. So culture is important. And that's just so good to hear. It really is. And do you know what? Just listening to you as a dealer, we can see why you are the dealer's dealer. You really are a, a fantastic person. It's a it's an honour for me and for James and for everyone at Car Dealer Magazine and at Used Car Awards to be able to give you uh, this great honour. Thank you, Dash, for everything you do for us, for your charity work, for everything in the industry. Uh, and congratulations once again. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. And thanks, everyone, for voting. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, to find out who else has won a used car award, please log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the used car awards tab at the top of the page. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.